And I didn't actually do any drama until I took a year out and I went to America. And um, they, at the school I was at in America, they had a, a big drama centre and they really encouraged people to, to try it out. And that's the first place where I, where I tried it. And, you know, and then I, when I came back to prison, I kind of had to seek it out at my school. And I had to, there was a lot of debate, a lot of argument, because my school had never done drama A level or anything like that before. And I sort of had to force them into it. Um, and I'm really, really glad I did. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's like any sort of um, job or trade. You have, to, you have to learn, you know, you have to learn your craft. And it, it really, it obviously depends on what you want to do. I always knew that I think I, well, it was more that I wasn't a very good actor, that I wanted to do comedy. And, and uh, so, you know, if, if, if you've got a real passion for something like that, then... Yeah, you, it's very important to, to seek it out and to uh, and you know to spend as much time on it as you can. I mean, it is very competitive. The way I I got the part in the Inbetweeners was half luck, and there's always going to be a lot of luck involved, and half uh, just because uh, myself and, and Joe, who plays Simon in the show, had decided to do a, a comedy show in Edinburgh. So it, I think and, and the, the guys that write the Inbetweeners came and saw that. Uh, and liked it and befriended us and eventually gave us a part in the show. And, you know, I look back and I think, I'm so glad that we, you know, had the, the drive and the, and the, you know, the, the guts to, to do that. Because, you know, could have easy, we could have easily said, oh, we can't be bothered to do it next year. Um, so I think it's about sort of making it happen for yourself. Put on your own shows. Uh, if you want to do stand-up comedy, just... Go out and do it, and you know the, the first time's the worst. After that, it gets a lot easier.